the one and only trespasser from Destiny 1 has made a return. Uh, though there was a leak about this stating it would return, you can never trust what is being said on the web, such as me saying I have a six pack and being related to Danny DeVito. Whether that's true or not, I'll leave that to your imagination, but today's short build is going to show you how to optimize Trespasser to his full set. If you have the Season Pass, you too can get the weapon straight away just from opening up the Season Pass page. The Trespasser now has been updated with a few new perks for Destiny 2. It has a perk called Unrepentant, where reloading after kill causes the next shot to be longer and more powerful. What this does now is turn the weapon into a 6 round burst weapon that can destroy minor to major combatants in a single burst. It has another follow up perk called Be the Danger, which allows the weapon to auto reload while Unrepentant is active and resets your timer for it. Simply, you can fire indefinitely as long as there's enemies to defeat. However, the catch here is that if you use this against a tougher combatant and it doesn't kill them, you will lose that burst and need to reactivate the perk again. With how flexible the weapon is, I can see this being a big contender for most used weapon in PvP and PvE. If you can land your burst and put the super burst in the process, then you'll be making easy runs in the game. You can push this weapon's limit even more by using Void 3.0 buffs such as Vanishing Step and Trapper's Ambush Aspect, which will allow us to go invisible on demand and allow us to quickly get out of danger. You'll then want Echo Remnants for longer lasting grenades, Echo Explosion for Void Final Blows to cause Void Detonations, and Echo Undermining for a defensive debuff on targets. Ideally with the Underminer and Trapper's Ambush, we can use their debuff in nature to increase the amount of damage they take and make it easier for us to take down targets with Trespasser and go from there. And if that doesn't help, then our Vortex Grenade will do the trick with its extended duration and ability to cause Void Detonations. This makes the base subclass very useful in any content you have in mind. On bare minimum, mod wise, you want to add on surprise attack for a plus 40% sidearm boost when charged with light, elemental ordnance to create wells via grenades, elemental charge to become charged with light, powerful fence you can get an extra plus 20 in mobility, and a reaping well maker to allow you to create wells upon successful dodge and then get a kill. What this will do is that once you create a well, you'll be able to have your weapon supercharged for a short duration on top of the Trespasser's exotic perk, so our sickest burst will be even more lethal on demand. We can keep this going by simply dodging and getting a kill to create a well via Reaping Wellmaker and have a 40% damage buff for near indefinite. But there is more, add on Machinator's Trick Sleeve for passive 50 airborne effectiveness, 100 handling and 100 reload to sidearms plus 100% damage increasement while on critical health and you too can have a heavy base sidearm capable of deleting the very stars. This all in hand makes it end game ready if you ever want to use this there and then and you just need to make sure you put on the anti champ mods before venturing in. If this sounds like a cup of tea and you want more content like this in the future then please leave a like and a sub and also follow me on twitter to keep up to date with Destiny news and content. Once again thanks for stopping by and I'll see you on the next one.